Aloha, everyone. I'm Rick Kirkham of ProactiveComputerSupport.com. I'm an in-home and remote tutor for Honolulu, Hawaii, covering all of Oahu and the English-speaking mainland United States of America. I am once again grateful for my uh, fellow IT friends who told me, one of whom told me that uh, he had a relative who had trouble understanding copying and pasting. So in this video, we're going to discuss uh, how to and the differences of copy, cut, and paste. Okay, so we're going to just be using a mouse for this. Uh, there's like at least two different ways I can think, actually three different ways I can think of in my head right now to copy, cut, and paste. But since most of you out there are mouse-driven, I still remember one time telling my old boss one time, I said, okay, uh, hit the delete key. And he grabbed his mouse and started looking for the delete key on the desktop. So I realized I had to rephrase when I teach things and say things like, okay, tap the delete key on the keyboard. So we are mouse driven people. So we will be using the mouse. You can do the same thing with a touchpad. And very similar, uh, this will be mostly Windows, but you can do almost 90% of this with an Apple computer as well, too. So don't worry about that. So copy with a mouse involves first selecting what you want to copy. Now, in the case of text, let's select this text right here from my website. Now, you see how right now I've got an arrow And I, in, in some cases, I actually want that to form the little eye bar right there. Uh, if the text is not movable, like if you're not working in Word or something like that, you don't really have to worry about it. So for now, we're just going to left mouse click and keep it down. And we're going to drag it from the beginning to the end of what we want to copy. Okay. Now, if you watched my last video, you heard me say over and over again, right mouse click for a menu, left mouse click for an action. By the way, quick tip, especially if you're on a Mac uh, with a touchpad, two fingers on the touchpad emulates a right mouse click. Two fingers emulates a right mouse click. Just so, just so if you not run into the store to buy a mouse so you can practice on this video. So we're going to put our mouse right over what we just highlighted and right mouse click. And we will see the word copy. Notice we don't see the word cut because this is not an editable document. It's a web page. So we are going to left mouse click for the action of copying. We are copying to something called the clipboard. So you can imagine the clipboard as being like a, a bulletin board. You take important things and you put them up there temporarily. And then eventually you take them back down. Now in this clipboard or bulletin board, it's small enough to where you can only put one thing on there at a time. So put that in your head. Okay, so you put one thing on the clipboard and then you put something else on there and it replaces what you have. Okay, so just imagine a small enough bulletin board or clipboard where that happens. Okay, so we right mouse clicked, left mouse click on copy. Now I've got a Google Doc already opened up here. So let's left mouse click for the action of selecting the Google Doc tab. And my last video I actually talked about tabs. Okay, now once again, let's right mouse click on that. Oh, now we got a menu and look what the menu says. We didn't select anything, so copy is not an option, but look what is an option, paste. Okay, and you also notice it pasted in the same format. Now, I've been trying to think of a way to 
explain this. So imagine, we're, we're going to talk a little bit about magic, I guess. I don't know. But imagine on this pretend bulletin board, which is a clipboard, that there are infinite number of copies. You can take the copy off of the clipboard and another one is still there. So you got infinite number of copies clipped there to the clipboard and you take one down and you can paste it right into here. Okay. Now, this is a free office suite called Open Office. It's Microsoft compatible. And as most of you know, in many of my videos, I highly recommend competing with Microsoft. <laughs> I like uh, I like Google Drive. I uh, take old computers and I speed them up by installing an operating system called Linux. So don't throw away those slow computers. Okay, have me check them to see if I can optimize them. If I can't optimize them, I will put the Linux operating system in there, and you will have a very fast, secure computer. But we're not talking about that right now. So even though we're offline right now, let's right mouse click. And, oops, hold on. And if we go all the way down here, we see, we see paste. So even though we're, we're on a computer-based word processing uh, piece of software, kind of like Microsoft Word, we click paste. And there it is again. And it kept its formatting, you notice. Okay, so even though we only copied this once, it's staying. We have multiple copies, infinite number of copies on this magical bulletin board slash clipboard of ours. We're taking one off. We put one in our uh, Google Doc, and now we put another copy in our word processor uh, called OpenOffice. Okay, so you can do the same thing with pictures, by the way. And I had to actually, uh, sometimes, by the way, sometimes this will work with uh, videos such as YouTube. Sometimes it will not. So it's, that one's a little bit iffy, but uh, definitely text. And if it's um, a formatable uh, word processor like um, like Microsoft Word or Open Office and pictures. If you're just doing something on a thing called Notepad, then you wouldn't be able to do pictures because Notepad is not made for pictures. It's made for text. Uh, hope I'm not getting too confusing there when I say that. But uh, here's one of my websites: affordable, private, in-home tutoring, Honolulu, Hawaii, blah blah blah. And so let's scroll down. Okay, now don't get scared. It's just me. But once again, if I put my mouse over this and I right mouse click on it. Now, first off, I can actually save the image to my computer. Save image as. I can also copy the image and I can copy the image address. The image address is like the path to it in case you're um, a website designer or something like that and you need that path. But let's not get into that okay so we actually want to copy the image we're not saving it to the computer we want to copy the image and we're going to try that on i know that this works on google docs because google docs could have done it on google docs so we'll give it a try so once again now we're going to right mouse click and here's paste once again with we'll left mouse click for the action of pasting this. Oh, and there's that picture again. Once again, don't get scared. Okay, now let's try this on Open Office. If it doesn't work, at least you'll know it doesn't work. So well, let's find out. So let's right mouse click and paste. And how about that? It worked. Okay. So that's good. So even OpenOffice is a good enough program where even if you're not 
technically online even though I do have access to the internet on this computer the software itself is not online software it's computer based software and my image still copied to it okay now let's talk about cutting okay and I don't mean insulting someone I mean <laughs> I mean let's talk about cutting instead of copying now when you cut you are still using this magic clipboard slash bulletin board okay and remember I told you before that this was a web page so you couldn't you can't edit it so when you click on here you see copy but you don't see cut that's because I can't remove that from a web page but if we go to the document that I created here okay and let's say we highlight this now remember our bulletin board or magic clipboard only has room for one thing remember that okay uh, so now we're gonna cut it so when we cut it we're gonna remove it from its source cut and it goes oh, look at that's gone and it goes on to this clipboard where you can have infinite copies of this clipboard and we're gonna pull off one of those copies and we're gonna go down here okay so here's that text before here's here's my picture and now let's right mouse click again and let's left mouse click for the action of pasting and there's the text again and let's see if the text now did the text just magically appear on the document no it did not however is it still in the clipboard yes because there's an infinite number of copies on the clipboard of the one object in this case text so can we put it back again let's put it below the picture this time so let's right mouse click look at that there's paste paste is available and let's left mouse click for the action of pasting and there it is again so that's cut copy and paste and I hope my little explanation helped my IT friends relative I hope it helps the senior citizens and the other people first learning how to use basic computer skills now to give you an idea I actually had a lady that was trying to learn how to run a business on a computer and I was helping her do that and I said okay copy and paste this here and she takes out a piece of paper and starts writing it down I said wait what are you doing and she said oh, I haven't learned how to copy and paste yet I said that's not a business school skill that's a basic computer skill let's do that right now and I showed her how to do it and she was like oh and I said in my last video I love that I love that look oh that's I, I'm a in-home computer to teach <laughs> I'm an in-home computer tutor but I went to college to learn to be a teacher so I'm a dual certified teacher and I was that before I became a computer uh, expert and that led me into computer tutoring as well as computer repair and like I said I look forward to helping everyone uh, tutoring with their computers uh, if for some reason you don't want a computer tutor or don't uh, everybody wants a computer tutor right <laughs> almost forgot to show this uh, computer I'm gonna mess it up here computer tips ebook hope that's it if not my apologies here we are. So if for some reason you don't want a computer tutor, but you would still appreciate uh, tips like this, uh, even more advanced tips, 
feel free to uh, order my book, The Big Plain English Computer, Cell Phone, and Tablet Help and Tips ebook. Anyway, either way, you're supporting my efforts so I can continue to teach people in person, remotely, and via videos like this. And I appreciate all of your support. So if you have any more suggestions as to videos, or obviously if you want to hire me as a computer tutor for tutoring or troubleshooting, or if you just want to order my book and instantly get a hold of it on a download, uh, feel free to do that, of course. But I hope you enjoyed your lesson today. Enjoy your computer. Don't be afraid of it. And God bless you.